This is a video what religious dog owners don't want you to view. And this is an educational video. Why you should never hit your dog under any circumstances. Hitting your dog over defecating or urinating in your home as a bathroom indoors is cruel and of course it's extremely malicious and that can result in you spending time on bars or be placed on an animal abuser registry now these days. Although people are trying to hide this active and claim religion as a reason, however, religion should not be reasonable. It doesn't matter if you are a Christian, Catholic, Mormon, Rastafarian, Jewish, Muslim, Amish, Wiccan, Hindu, Methodist, Atheist, etc. Hang your dog because your dog didn't listen to you or made a mess in your home is cruel and of course it's unacceptable. However, many animal activists didn't make any undercard videos about dog owners who portraying their dogs the wrong way. God nor Jesus does not give the right to hit your dog when your dog is not listening. Using the Bible for a spare or spoiled child is extremely cruel and this is an issue. Telling your dog, quote, you know, but unquote, is cruel. Nobody on this world knows any better. That can result your dog to go dumb and dumber. This is not a lesson we should teach your dog. If you don't have anything nice to do with your hands, just keep your hands to yourself like this. Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. Well, your school taught you this, but you're still a hypocrite. When I was at the parsonage in this small town, like in Nicodemus, Kansas, I encountered this person who hit his dog because of defecation home or not, listening to the owner or run away from home. In another dog, who was a boxer, but she was hit badly, somehow, hiding, and trapped in one home with one person. However, her primary owner is known culprit. When I encounter her hanging her dog, caught her by uh, ears, red handed, and my, my primary personal attendant did not reprimand her for hitting her dog or punish her for hitting her dog or contact the police department to get her and held accountable album cruelty. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian or not. But these people have these. Excuses. I'm Christian. It doesn't matter. I'm a Catholic. It doesn't matter. I'm Mormon. It doesn't matter. I'm Muslim. It doesn't matter. Any excuse you're trying to say still does not matter. Well, God will protect me. Well, the God will not protect you because what you did to your animal is wrong. God will protect me from being arrested. Well, 
No. Well, Jesus will protect me. He's my savior will protect me from being arrested for him, my dog. But it's better off for a child. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. But I'm doing what the Bible telling me what to do. It doesn't matter. They're not going to find me. Well, they'll find you. They're not going to find out who I am. Well, they'll identify you. They're not going to find what church I'm in. Well, they will. Many of these dog owners or new owners adopting these animals still hit their animal whatsoever. Religion doesn't make you exempt from these animal cruelty laws. Nor it's ain't culture. Now he says Animal abuse and registries are popping up, and I do support these registries. If I were a dog owner, I would never hit my dog or any circumstances. Instead, I'll keep my hands on myself, use positive reinforcement. That's why many mahouts who hit their elephants forced to give rise has been killed. In fact, there was no such law that prevent people from hitting their animals over a home or have access to home or not listening to them or may mess at home. This is extreme cruelty. Again, religion is not a reason. However, Sweden is a country that outlaws spanking. So is other countries who are taking part. But false advertising is common behind closed doors of homes. I've watched animal cops before, seeing people be arrested for animal cruelty. And I was inspired by this YouTube video posted by Cops TV. Tased and abused. And this is what happens if you hit your dog. And that taught a person a lesson. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. Black or white. If you don't have anything nice to do with your dog, just keep your hands to yourself. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Now, the dog owners are going dumb and dumber. I know it's bad to hit a dog. And it's also bad to hit a rabbit. And it's also bad to hit your cat. It's also bad to hit your horse. And it's also bad to hit your elephant. It's time to get these people who hit their animals placed behind bars and be banned from owning any other animal for years. For example, 15 years or higher. But loopholes are secretly being exploited all because people who have an excuse religion. So, what you should do if you see someone hit your dog? Well, if this is the case, well, you can go to PA.org report animal cruelty or you should contact your local police department. If you call on video, you can send it to the animal activists and have your parent be arrested for animal cruelty or anyone in the family be arrested for animal cruelty and you have an option to move out of your family's homes. Rules in family is also not acceptable. Well, rules in families are not acceptable. 
by the parents in this. Well, that does not fall on these rules. It doesn't matter. It still doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter. If you, sh if you teach your child not to eat animals in the first place, you should not hit your child either. You should refrain from hitting your child in the first place when your child didn't listen to you or made a mess. Just deal with it and stop hitting your child and stop with all of your yelling and hollering on this because you should keep your hands to yourself too. Spank your dog is cruel. Spanking your rabbit is cruel. Spanking your horse is cruel. Spanking your elephant is cruel. Spanking your child is cruel. What's wrong with this world? What's wrong with the United States of America? That free country broken beyond repair. So, in fact, well, in my opinion, if you hit your dog, your dog will not learn. And in some cases, your dog will have fear of you. In some cases, that dog will go and bite you. Just like that. You know, you got and then rough, 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 and then just like that. You would bend, and that dog would teach you a lesson. Say, you should not hit me. Bad, bad human, bad. That's what you get for hitting. No. I'll find me another person who will raise me without violence. So, this is what that's going to happen to you if you hit your dog. So, well, this is Aaron Johnson. Who don't actually own any of these real animals I have these fake ones what I owned but I'm going to show y'all in, in my room okay here it is what I have right here those are my stuffed animals I have this is my teddy bear, and this is my um, toy dog I own right here. And those are fake animals what I own. Now back to me. So, um, what I'm about to do. And so, um, go back to my couch. Anyway, um, before I go, what people should understand, hitting your dog is bad. Snap out of it. Well, none of us know any better. Nobody. Always went dumb and dumber because of this. All the hitting over this, hitting over that. Spanking over this, spanking over that. Get out of this garbage. Because if you don't, you go dumb and dumber. In some cases, here's what happens if you ever hit your dog. One, you'll be arrested for animal cruelty. And two, you may lose your friends. In some cases, your dog too. And three, You'll be losing your job. For instance, if you ever worked at an animal shelter, you'll lose that job. And you'll lose a job working at school. You could lose your business. You could lose your bank account. You could lose your home. You could lose your vehicle. And in some cases, you'll be placed on an animal abuse registry. And, in some cases, you aren't able to own your next dog. 
end, you are able to own eight or three friends. However, since I was inspired by many of those videos right there on YouTube, posted by Inside Edition about teenagers being, or being arrested for hitting their dogs and other bad guys, I'll be putting these links there and description box. So, um, so I'll be making some more videos on my channel. So, what do you think of this video? Have you ever caught one person from hitting his or her dog? And you believe it's out of cruelty? Send them off at the comments below. Because, um, I want to hear from ya. If you want for me to um, post more videos or you want to see my upcoming videos, smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon. So, what about to do? I'm going to stop this recording on my phone because I'm around storage. So, I'll be back making my next video. And thanks for coming to my channel and thanks for watching my video. So, have a good night.